What's up guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we will talk about the iOS 14.2 on iPhone 7. So iPhone 7 as I talked about in my previous videos iPhone 7 have been lagging a lot on while unlocking devices while unlocking the device and still the issue is still on iOS 14.2 so don't think that it is fixed the issue is still present Apple have not fixed that issue still but I have a video planned how to fix that it's a temporary fix so be sure to subscribe and turn on notification now let's talk about the performance so iphone 7 performance on the us 14.2 have been actually average not good it's not good it's not bad it's in the middle so the log bug as i said it is still present and uh, except the log bug there are a lot of things to consider as there are new wallpapers on the iphone 7 which look really really dope and i also have a lot of wallpaper collection which all looks much to be honest some of the wallpapers in my collection looks much more better than apple ones so you can go and check that out first link in description so these wallpaper have been introduced in 14.2 i have been using my device for some time as you know iOS 14.2 have been released for like 10 or 12 hours and I have been using my device since then and uh, till now this device have got some heating issues my battery health is 100% I got some heating while using my device uh, while checking mails and doing this normal task I don't know I haven't haven't got this heating issues earlier but I was experiencing some heating issues it was not really really bad heating issues it was like uh, my uh, my device was heating a bit as i'm just uh, usually when we do gaming my our, our devices get heat up it was the same kind of heat up so after using my device for some time my end theory says that uh, 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 from the time I updated my device I was using it continuously so maybe that's the reason my device was getting heat up uh, again and again I mean the heating issues were just mad so yeah I was experiencing some heating issues but I will be coming up with a follow up video and I don't want you guys to miss that so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so now let's talk about other things such as bugs so as I talked about the lock screen bug it is not fixed right now I don't know why Apple didn't choose to fix that issue right now but yeah that issue is still present here and i have used my iphone 10r my iphone 11 and uh, iphone 12 pro on this firmware so if you are into that review be sure to turn on notification as i'm saying it again and again i have planned a lot of videos for you all and it seriously don't want you guys to miss that so the wallpapers as i have talked about that it, wallpaper have been introduced the jam feature have been introduced which is actually really really great feature it is really usable i have used it for uh, like I was on beta on my device so I was using it from like past one month and I have even made a video on that you can check that video out I have linked it in the iCard you can click that iCard and check that video out how to enable that Shazam feature so Shazam feature is new feature and it is really dope feature what it does is uh, I, I, let me explain a bit about Shazam so what Shazam does is Shazam helps you identify what song is playing on your phone or on your speaker or even like uh on if, if you are in a party and uh, the song is playing and you don't know what is the name of the song you just turn on the shazam by going into control center and that's it it will let you know that what song is playing now talking about the battery life my battery health is 100 percent i'm saying this again as you can see on the screen so on 100 percent battery health i was getting around like uh, three to three and a half hours of usage which is really really bad and that was also not really intensive usage i do not play any games just normal usage browsing and checking my meals that's it and uh, i was getting like three and a half hours and right now i got i got like four hours so uh 30 minutes more and of course we know that iphone 7 and 6s are really bad in battery life on ios 14 from the starting it is a, it does not happen just right now it from the starting i use i use 14 is really bad on iphone 7 on iphones and iphone 6s now let's talk about the new emojis so i just want even to introduce some new emojis as you can see on the screen so there are almost 100 new emojis and yeah 
for those people thinking that is it on a US iphone 7 also yeah the new emojis are also on iphone 7 like it is on all iphones so don't worry many people were asking this question which is really strange i didn't expect you guys to ask this question to me on twitter so yeah every device from iphone 6s to iphone 12 to iphone 12 pro every device have got the new and 100 emojis so don't worry emojis you, you guys will get emojis the iphone 7 users so the battery health uh, is is like three and a uh, 30 minutes more the performance is about the same it is just a bit more uh like defined i would say so uh i would so what's the final verdict so final verdict is ios 14.2 is a great software i'm not not at all kidding ios 14.2 is a really great software and uh, it is uh, much better than ios 14.1 and if you would ask me that should i upgrade to ios 14.2 on my iphone 7 or not yeah definitely go ahead and update your device because of course you don't have any you don't have any chance like uh, if you are on ios 13 or below i would say uh yeah you should also update because uh, uh, you can't downgrade now but uh, if you want the new features you have to update and ios 14.2 is the best software you can be right now and uh, the ios 14.2 3 beta 1 will be also dropping really soon and i will be covering it on my iphone 7 and on all of my iphones so be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe to this channel peace out and if you do like this end up liking this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel i'll meet you all in the very next episode